So today we're going to talk about wearable technologies. Pretty cool, right? Wearable technologies. What does that mean to you all? You can wear something electronic. Yeah. Wear something electronic. Youth are exposed to a variety of careers that relate to the incredible wearables challenge. Watch as Dagan discusses and engages youth in thinking about the many different STEM careers that are related to wearable technologies. Depending on the type of activity you're doing, you might think about what type of careers might connect to it, what kind of jobs are needed. So if you're doing something with high altitude balloons and you're thinking about, okay, so what does it take to make this thing? Right? You can think of all the careers just to make that product. You can think of all the thinkers that go into that, so like physicists and the problem solving that it took to build that thing. So you can think about it on a couple of different levels and just kind of have that in the back of your mind. So what type of careers do you think are involved in making wearable technology happen? Um, not technically all, but most jobs like marketing, coding, um, engineering, uh, and stuff like that. Okay. Cool, thank you. What else? Engineering and craftsmanship. Oh, some crafting going on too? Yeah. App development. Oh, so there's lots of careers, and we're going to kind of, as we work, we're going to talk about how some of those ideas that you talked about. I heard um, some dietitian from this group, some doctors. So I want to infuse those as we discuss, like, how does a dietitian use this information? We're going to talk about that as we go. Yeah. I like assembling it because just the fact that it's connecting and, like, the idea of it, like, working together to make something as a whole is really beneficial. I heard you talk about assembly. Um, what do you think of careers now in assembly, like, putting things together? Um, I think like if you're a manufacturer or any type of engineer, especially like when there's jobs that are making computers or any type of other products, you need a, a big group of people and nice materials to be able to make certain products that work well. And do you think, well, what are the people involved in that assembly process right now? Because right now we have robots assembling a lot of the things in today's world. So what other careers do we need to make those robots work? Engineers for those robots. Right, engineers for sure, right? To yeah. make the robots to work. To make career connections, listen to the student, hear what they're saying, and ask the kid. Having the conversation puts the idea of career and job and their interest in the forefront of their mind. So that's valuable. As young as we want to go, we can be like, what kind of job do you want to do? So a lot of times they say doctor. We can ask them, how would a doctor think about this problem? And uh, start having them think about that career aspiration. We are good. Our cables are still in and the heart rate has gone up 63, but no one's done anything. So. That's a beat, that's a beat. Does that look like anything to you guys that you've seen on TV or anything like that? A heart monitor, an EKG or something like that. To come up with all this, what type of careers do you think need this type of information? Pulse. A doctor. Doctor like a nurse. nurse. Uh, nurse. A nutritionist. Uh, a trainer. A trainer like a, a physical a, trainer. I can't think physical of trainer? I mean physical, physical personal. <laughs> what physical yeah. trainer? With some illnesses like, I don't know, like sometimes diabetes. Okay. Oh, so high blood pressure, like they need to make sure that it's... Uh, yeah, for sure. So that health, the, the health component is huge when we can just look at the heart.